Save five dollars on your next Iron Man toy. Coupon inside. Offer valid to February 15, 2011. <laughs> um, as you know, this is a review of these two new Iron Man figures that um, I picked up at Toys R Us today. These aren't, they weren't in Target. Um, and the uh, Toys R Us in College Point in New York had had these figures uh, there I think there's a special for this week I think it's two figures for ten dollars and change but let's go on to the review um I'm more excited about this guy because he's a new mode than I am about this guy because all he has is a new head um, I think this is the proto armor um, Iron Man, which um, after Iron Man dropped the big clunky armor, this was the, the first armor he got. Eventually it turned into the classic red and gold, but this is the, the original. Here's a Marvel Legends variant with this, um, with this head. has the points on the top. And then you have this. This is the... Both of these figures are labeled Iron Man. But to distinguish them, I guess this is the Proto Armor. And I would call this one the John Romita Armor. We had a Superhero Showdown figure in this design. So, let's open them up, shall we? Let me review this one first. <laughs> Iron Man, Iron Man does whatever an iron can, whatever an iron can do. <laughs> uh, trusty box cutter. This figure is number 30 in the line. You also get number 31, Titanium Man, which looks horrible. Number 29, the Guardsman, which also looks horrible. And then you get number 28, the Iron Man Proto Armor. And correct me all you want, <laughs> nerds. <laughs> but that's, my, that's what I'm calling it. That's what I'm sticking to. Ooh, let's see what new goodies, I guess. Voila. Uh, nothing. Oh. There's nothing new here. Uh, this is a coupon. Five dollars off any Hasbro Iron Man 2 toy purchase of twenty dollars or more. Nice trick, bub. It says here save five dollars they don't tell you you gotta buy twenty dollars worth of it but coupons a coupon as an old lady would say and that's it so I get two coupons oh, no I don't <laughs> I wish I did up here it says uh, you get the picture or you can also go to Hasbro Toy Shop's website and read the description so just like always you get your cards the base and this repulsor blast which looks very delicious I must say it's like yellow taffy So this is the figure, as you can see, it has a mid torso joint, the head can move up, no, I guess not, can turn side to side, the neck is kind of square, I like the bulky design and the yellow circle in the chest. These pieces of armor go up. Whoop. 
and the arm has that awesome um, Hasbro articulation not the crappy one the awesome one and you got a joint at the wrist kinda tight tight like a tiger there's no waist joint and the legs like always to move them to make the leg go forward you have to take this ball in the crotch and kind of turn it forward and voila the knee bends like that and you get a bit of ankle articulation the way the bottom of the foot is I don't think Oh, well, you can rotate it, but it's kind of weird like that. A poster beam. Photon cannon. And not exactly the <laughs> the modular armor, but it looks it's close. So I like it. It's a pretty sturdy. Hmm. It's a pretty sturdy, just like all the Iron Man action figures. I'm not having any trouble with the joints now. And he's standing on his own very well without his base. Let me try out the Reposer Blast. Delicious. I guess you put this hand in. Pew! So, what do I think? Um, ever since I picked up most of the Iron Man figures. I didn't pick up the tech ones. Um, I've been waiting for some new Iron Man merchandise. I wanted to get the Hulkbuster, but I guess that's the hot item of the line. But I like this. It's another addition to the Hall of Armors. Which, with Iron Man, I could see the line running for a few more waves just based on armors <clears throat> and now we go to this one which is me this this figure is basically the same as the as the um, first red and gold Iron Man from the comic series all we have is a new head and let me see. Yep, we even have the base where he stands up on. Even though the package was kind of opened, I think someone wanted to shoplift it in Toys R Us. Because of the paint apps on the face, I decided to pick this guy up anyway. So let's go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As Iron Man or Jets of Blaze, he will fight, he will fight with repulsor rage. And I'll probably get some copyright infringement. <laughs> Let me bring this out. Same thing. Oh, do I get a coupon? Coupon. Oh, you some of them. No coupon. Blimey. Let's just pick this up. And let's just look at this armor. As you can see, you get the base and the reposer blast. 
and the card. I guess with a new head. These cards are hit or miss. The website IronManCard.com just goes to like Marvel's website, so nothing fancy. Articulation is the same. I like this um this Iron Man. I got two. I got an extra war m a comic book war machine to go with the other one that I got. So there are some weird paint apps here. I guess I don't know if it's the plastic, but this gold here, this yellow looks dark. Here too, he's kind of loose. I like the the blue in the chest and the head can just turn around like that the head I'm guessing is a new sculpt alright so that's it for my review of the Iron Man proto armor and Iron Man, I'll call this, I know there's a name for this, I'll probably put it in the title, but for now I'll call it the John Romita Armor, John Romita Jr. Armor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see ya. Bye! <laughs>